everyone. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mandy Jane and I'm here with um, Cadence. So I am going to be using a couple of Cadence products to really show you such a simple marbling technique um, on an old table lamp I got for £10 actually <laughs> on um, Facebook Marketplace, I think it was. Um, so what I'm going to do work, I'm going to work on the base today and the lampshade that came with it, I didn't really like it, I'm sorry. So what I'm gonna do is buy a lampshade that's suitable, we're gonna work on that then um, next week. So we're gonna upcycle the lampshade next week when I find one that I like, okay. So today, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've started prepping my lampshade base because of the time. I know everyone's time is precious and I don't wanna waste too much of your time. But what I've done is I have got a vase and we're gonna do the technique on the vase. So I've gone ahead and just painted this with some graffiti grey um, Cadence Hybrid paint. But I'll take you through what we're using. Just going to want a nice grey base. I've done exactly the same on my lampshade base, okay? So I'm going to pop a photograph up now so you know what the lampshade start, the base started off as, okay? So if I just pop on here, look, here's the picture. This is what it was. So this is what I bought. And um, I had to do a bit of, quite a bit of sand and prep work on it because it had like dints and bashes in it. But I thought for £10, we're going to make this lovely again, okay? So we're going to restore it in a way. So that is how it started off, okay? So that's where our starting point was. I can say a couple of hellos. Hi, Helen. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Guy. How are you? So I'll come back up now. <laughs> we're going to go down and I'm going to start talking about the products we're going to use. And it is very minimal products. That's why I said it's super easy. It really is. And at the end, I'll tell you um, what I'm going to do to protect it. OK, so take it down to the board. So here we have starting place. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to use, all I've used, what we're going to use, is I'm using some of the Cadence Hybrid paints. And I've just got white and black for this. So that's two of the products we're using to create our um, base shade because I've already painted it with the graffiti grey. That's what the colour I started off with. So that's the graffiti grey um, from the Cadence Hybrid Multi-Surface Paints, which are available on uh, Personal Impressions now. They are now the UK distributor. Um, so we're going to use those two first. Um, what I've got there, I've got a sponge. So I'm using a natural sponge because I like the texture, but a decorative sponge, um, some kitchen sponge cut up. So you just want the spongy side on there, okay? And then also what I've got is I have got a, what I call a, rigor, uh, a long a brush there with a little, can you see, fine nib on it. So just something fine um, to do some marble marbling afterwards as well. So that is what we're going to be using. So I've already gone ahead and you can see this is just, um, I'll show you now, it's horrible brown bars. <laughs> there you go. And I've just um, painted it with the graffiti grey because I wanted to show you how we do this technique for you. Okay, nice and simple. So I'm going to grab a paint palette and my paint palette, as always, is foil. <laughs> that way I can just throw it away, you know, I'm not wasting anything. I can recycle it as well if we wanted to. Sometimes I let the paint dry on it and they use that as an effect in the background. So all we're going to do now is I'm going to take some black paint. So I'm using the black hybrid acrylic here because I'm working onto a sort of a shiny surface and it goes onto any surface. And I've got some white paint here. Oops, there we go. Okay. And all we're going to use, we're going to use a sponge. And what I do with my sponge is, before I start, so I, I've just got water in a spray bottle. And I give it a light, I'm just going to move it around, but I'm just going to give it a light spray. But when I say a light spray, it is just a light spray. And it is just to dampen that natural sponge, really, to get it, get it nice and soft to use. That's all I've done on, on the brush. Now, this is, a very, so this is a very simple, very quick demo for you today. But it gives you such a... a, a fantastic uh, effect on it. it really does okay so first thing i'm going to do i've just got my sponge it's simple as this i'm grabbing my vase here and i'm going to pick up a little bit of the black paint a little bit of the white paint onto my sponge here now okay and i like to just to pounce it down a little bit to get the paint going into my sponge and then all we're going to do is you're going to start dabbing this onto your project and I'm dabbing and lifting here okay so I'm dabbing this across my project now it's up to you where you want more dark areas more light areas but we are going to be doing other things onto it but can you see already you're going to have sort of a, a marbling effect on here that's all it takes so we're just going to continue 
dab in our paint. Now I'm going to do like an all over, but what you can do is you can do it in um, sort of more of um, a jagged sort of shaped if you want more of the grey to come more of the colour behind, because this could be anything. If I'm using black and white because I want grey, because that's, that's the colour I'm using in my decorations, um, but you could use um, some beautiful teal colours. It depends. You get the same. You can do the same technique, but you can just switch up your colours. If you want a rusty looking um, marble, just choose those colours. Okay. Yeah, I'm just dabbing. There's no uniform. I don't want it all, um, all the same. So you want to dab it around. Okay. So I'm just carrying on. I'm not doing it hard. And as I go, I'll pick up more bits because I want a little bit more maybe a little bit more uh, white in some areas. I'm going to do that. I will come back and we will layer. Okay, so I'm just dabbing away. And of course you've got that lovely texture in that sponge, you get a really wonderful um, effect on it as well. A little bit of black there. Okay, I'm just going to, because don't forget marble isn't uniform. Marble is a natural material. So it's, it's going to be, just random, really is. Hiya B, thanks for joining me. I'm trying to read them as I go along, not very good, you know that. <laughs> so I'm just tapping this again all the way around. But can you see? Right, here we come. I'm coming around to the beginning now. There we go. But what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to start adding a bit more colour in some areas. I think that around I might need a bit more black in some areas a bit more white in others but there you go so you see now right there I want a bit more white in that bit I might follow that vein around okay but if I show you now I mean the light isn't very good here but can you see the effect you're getting just by dabbing your um, sponge all over I'm gonna bring it up for you all over the surface and you get this lovely sort of really simple marble effect but it's so so effective it really is so just going to carry on now because I want to make sure I don't want too much of my base paint showing through for me okay but we haven't finished yet we're going to give that a quick dry in a moment but again you want to keep layering it. You want to layer all these colours up because by layering them up, that's how you're going to get a real natural feel to your marble. Okay. Remember, use different colours. You haven't got to use these colours. The marble comes in so many different colours. It really does. I like the teal and the rusty sort of colours. Like if you have um, classic oak in the in the hybrids. And the mint green, that looks fabulous with the white all together. It really does. It gives you a beautiful finish. There we go. I still haven't unpacked my box with me NEC, so <laughs> I haven't got all my campaign colours out yet. But there you go. So this now, this is our sort of first coating of ours. Can you see? And you've got that lovely, so again, all these cheap things. So we're going to give that a really, really quick dry, my, my hair dryer. So excuse the noise. handle it now so you can see I've got a lovely colour now so that's gone from the brown the grey and now it's gone on with your marble effect on there okay so again I would add go around and start adding another layer I'm going to show you I'm going to show you quickly today there you are another layer hey Caroline oh thank you yeah you'll be seeing more of them now I'm, I'm sort of back back in my room getting back in my routine now <laughs> I've done a little time off. There you go. Yes, you could. 
Yes, you can get on. Yes, same thing because the um, hybrids go onto any surface, or if you've got other paints, um, this will go onto any. Yeah, you can do this on any surface. You could do this. Um, you can do this effect onto glass. You can do this effect onto wood. It's all sorts of onto walls. So it's all sorts. It's just a nice way of getting a really, really quick uh, decorative um, finish on there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we can add some. I'm just moving this to one side. Not quite, it's not quite dry. Um, but what you can do now is we can add some veins into it, okay? So what I've got is I've got my, any thin, thin brush, really. So anything thin that's on the end, okay? I also have a dry, um, dry brush with me as well. But I'm gonna just wet my brush, take off the excess, but I want to make sure my point is on, so I'm just gonna point there. And I've got the white paint um, here. We just need that up. So I've got some white paint and I'm really, I mean, I'm I'm not a very steady hand. So what I like to do, professionals kind of take the whole brush and have paint on it and do varying degrees. I, because I haven't got a very steady hand, I'm, I'm honest about that. I tend to just take it on the tip of my brush on here. And I, I hardly put any pressure. I sort of hold it like this. And then what I do is I will just sort of add some little lines there. I like to brush it out. We haven't finished yet because we do these and then we'll add on a bit more sponge in. So I, this is just how I like to do it, okay? So again, I'm just following some of the, you know, sort of the veiny sort of parts. And I like to brush it in. So can you see how the really soft veins are, are coming up in it now, okay? Um, there is a way to do this, and you get all your brush and you twist it as you go in. Okay. Um, so if I just do it here, I just do show you. But you can put it down, you hold it lightly, but then you twist it as you're going, and then put it down thicker in some areas. But again, I like to brush my nails so it gives a feathery, a feathery feel to it. Can you see that now? You've got those veins coming down as well. And all it is is a little bit of paint on the brush. So I'm gonna carry on. And just put some more you can see I'm just coming down there and I like to blend in a little bit as I'm going but look at that doesn't it give you really sort of a realistic feel to it but it's just so um you know it's just so simple to do mm. there's so many different ways you you can do it but can you see now how you've got those lovely lines as well and I'm going to come across up there. You don't have to brush this out, it's just like the way I like to do it because I say I'm not very steady hand. But can you see now? So as we're going round now, you can see we add in starting to add those veins into our mock marble effect here. So I'm gonna carry on a little bit more here. Okay, so I'm just coming up my brush again. I'm not hold, I'm holding it very gently. And I'm gonna brush that. I like to brush my nails and then maybe let's come down here. But look at that. Can you see? I just, I just love it. I just love it. I think it's just, it's such a nice, um, lovely little um, technique that can give you really, and don't forget, you can use it on your cards. I mean, if you want to do um, some marble backgrounds for your cards, then do this onto cards. You know, so much you can really is look at that so much you can do with it so i'll do one more and i'm going to go back i'm going to bring the lamp in then to show the next bit because obviously we've got lots of products that we can use to do um let me come across there as well there we go. can you see now so we've got this lovely um veiny feel and if you feel that you you want to blend those in a little bit all you've got to do you're going to lightly tap across them just to make them appear that they come in from and over and behind the marbling so again you've just got and i'm not putting any pressure on it i just want to catch a little bit on the top here it's just but there says so everyone does it differently this is how i do it okay there you go. Can you see now where you've got that lovely 
looks really looks lovely it's realistic doesn't it but we're not finished there because we're going to add some marble spray onto our actually because on the lamp i want two sides i want to finish i'm going to carry doing this now onto the lamp bear with me put that to one side i'm going to bring in the lamp now <laughs> two bits now on this lamp now you can see i might have to come out a little bit bear with come out a little bit so you can see the lamp nor the mess around it so on this lamp now you can see i've started i've gone around and i've started adding all my little lines and my crackles i've got a couple more to add on to here so i'm just going to damp my brush down again make sure i've got a nice my little point on there okay i have to stand up for this <laughs> and i've got my brush ready because i like to use my brush and i'm just going to pull that brush down and i am softening it down it's hard to see sometimes but it there you go. Just try my brush off a little bit. There you go. I'm just going to follow that, follow that line down. Brush in a little bit. Again, I'm just brushing them in so they soften. But again, you don't have to do the, you don't have to soften them in. If you want them really, really white and standing out, then you you do that. Okay. I can also say it's your project, you can do what you want. There you go. So I'm just adding some more of these little lines in to my base. Okay. So I'll turn it around to the last bit here, the last side. Again, don't need a lot of paint on my brush. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring that one up. I will do a little bit of sponging on top of these ones. Okay. I'm just going to come down here. I'll brush that one out a little bit there. There we go. Taking my sponge, I'm just going to a tiny bit over some of the airs there. Okay, and there. So there you go, you can see now. Hi Lorraine. Okay, we'll speak to you later. <laughs> so you can see now you've got that going on there. What I want to do, I want to show you, you can add on another layer now. Okay, because as I say, it's a two part project. So we are going to come back to the lampshade next week. So I've got the cadence marble effect. If anyone's got this, so I've got the cadence marble effect in black here. Um, I've got white some of I can't find it. So I'm just going to add on a really, really small amount of this. And this gives me texture as well. This product is great because it goes onto your glass, it goes onto, and it's washing off fabric if you heat set it as well. Okay, so you need to give it a little shake. And then when you apply this, you sort of apply it in small areas like this. Okay, in small. So I'm going to see if I can come back a little bit for you. You can see all my mess here. And I'm just going to do a little bit across. Okay, so. Hard to see on here, but it's, it does come up on here, so you get a lovely webby sort of feel to it. I'm going to turn it. This gives us, this gives us lovely texture and dimension on it as well to go with what we've already done on here. Okay. You see it just landing on it. It's a fabulous product. I don't want too much on there because I just want it to um, fall onto where onto the layers I've already put on on here. There we go. And it's the last little bit of thing here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to break those little bits. I'm going to stand it up now. You can see on the top because I want a little bit more around here. Okay, so I'm just going to go very lightly onto the top there. There we go. Okay. Put all that off of there. So now you can see, I'm going to tip it up for you. So I've covered all my electricals up before I started. Um, so now I'm going to let that dry. Let that dry. Little strands there I don't want. Okay. 
to make sure it's all settled on. Can you see now? I hope you can see. I'm going to hold it up for you. Let this all dry onto there. But can you see how I've now added those sort of very, very fine marble areas? Because what happens is spray gives it the mark, really gives that marble effect as well. So you want the underlying paint effect, but then you've got these lovely, just very, very thin strands of the paint there to give that wonderful marbled effect. So what I'm going to do now is I would leave that to dry. Okay, I want to make sure all the paint is dry. Okay, so we're going to leave that to dry. I'm going to come up for you now. Hold on. So now, oh, it's, it's a big lamp, isn't it? So I'm going to leave that to, um, can't see the light, can you? Leave that to dry thoroughly. And then when I've um, completely dried everything, and I'm happy with that, I'm then going to use um, Aquastone Varnish on it, okay, by Cadence. And that's going to give it a lovely glaze because that'll give that real marble feel to it as well then. But that's going to take, I'm going to put two coats of Aquastone Varnish onto, onto my project. So we'll do that next time then, next week, we're going to do the lampshade. I'll pop it on the event. I don't know what day it would be yet. We're going to do the lampshade. And then... Once it's all done, you'll see the glaze in it next week. So I'll put the glaze in it in between time and then we'll have it all as one as one piece all finished for you next week. OK, so I told you a very simple technique. It's very easy. Again, you can do it on lots of different serves and use it in your card making as well. OK, great. Do a whole sheet and then cut it down for your card making. It makes a great background of these and play with your colours as well. Play with your marble colours. So another thing you can do. Great background, very easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I'm just going to see a couple of hellos on here. Hey, Faith. <laughs> oh, sorry about notification. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Guy. So um, everyone, thank you for joining me. I say, but please have a go. I'd love to see if you have a go, whether it's card making, whether it's onto a piece of furniture, whether it's onto just something or fabric. You can use our fabric, remember, you must heat set it from behind with a dry hot iron. But we will be using this. I've used it on a t-shirt. If you look back, there's a tutorial with a t-shirt, and we use the marble spray on that along with the paints. So that is it for today. I said it'd be a quick one. So, but watch out in the events because I will put a lampshade on there and we'll do that next week. So we've got a complete piece then. So I need to get down to the shops and, and find if I can find one. I might go to the charity shop first. Let me see if we can get one. Okay, I do want to paint with it. So until next time, take care, stay safe. And any questions, people in the comments, I will answer them. Okay. And um, here's too many more lives. So I'm back on I'm back on schedule now. Okay. So look out for events, lots of events coming up for you on the Mad J.